Halloween is a time where people dress up in costume. For adults, it's marked by the annual office costume party potluck that features food that looks like it's straight from your favorite horror movie. And if Halloween falls on a weekend, there's sure to be a huge after-hours costume party filled with people, food, dancing, and other adult entertainment. For kids, Halloween is a time to dress up in your favorite costume and go door to door throughout the neighborhood while on a quest for the most candy that you can corral while singing a familiar chorus. Trick or treat, smell my feet, give me something good to eat. Halloween is most commonly associated with witches, jack-o'-lanterns, and pretty much all things horrific. But did you know the common traditions we practice during Halloween have Christian roots? In this video, I will show you how Halloween actually hijacked a Christian holiday. Halloween is celebrated annually around the world on the 31st of October. Historically, it is agreed that Halloween originated as a Celtic pagan festival celebrated on November 1st. This Celtic pagan festival was called Shawin. Shawin marked the end of the harvest season and the beginning of winter or the darker half of the year. Historians believe that Shawin goes all the way back to the 9th century. So if Shawin was celebrated on November 1st, how did October 31st come to be so significant? I'm glad you asked. The Shawin festival actually began on the evening of October 31st. Why is this? Because like the Hebrew day, the Celtic day began at sunset. So Shawin began on the evening of October 31st. Shawin was celebrated with great gatherings of people and huge feasts with lots of food. It was during this time that the ancient burial mounds were opened because they were seen as portals to the spiritual world. This festival was celebrated with bonfires and sacrifices. The Celtic pagan belief was that during Shawin, the boundary between the earthly realm and the spiritual realm was thinned, affording spiritual beings easier entry into the earthly realm. It is commonly believed that the traditions of Shawin are the foundations of the Halloween traditions we practice today. But remember, historically, Shawin goes back to the 9th century. What if I told you there was a Christian tradition celebrated in a similar way on the same date but began five centuries before Shawin came on the scene and it is still practiced by some Christians to this day? This Christian tradition is called All Saints Day. It is also called All Hallows Day, the Feast of All Saints, the Feast of Hallows. And check this one out. Some call it Hallowmas. You know, like Christmas, but Hallowmas. This holy day goes all the way back to the 4th century. That's five centuries before Shawin. And it is still celebrated to this day. All Saints Day is a solemn celebration of Christian saints who have passed away. It is celebrated by the Eastern Orthodox Church, Lutheran Churches, Anglican Communion, Methodist Churches, Church of the Nazarene, Reformed Churches, and the Philippine Independent Church. All Saints Day is celebrated by Western Churches on November 1st. Eastern Churches celebrate All Saints Day on the Friday after Easter or on the Sunday after Pentecost. The Western Church began celebrating All Saints Day with a Vesper on October 31st. This Vesper is a religious service on the evening before All Saints Day. Now here's something to make you say, hmm. All Saints Day was also called All Hallows Day. The day before All Saints Day was called All Saints Eve or All Hallows Eve. All Hallows Eve. Hallows Eve. Hallow's Eve. Hmm, that sounds a lot like Halloween. All Saints Day is a three-day celebration from October 31st through November 2nd. This time period is known as All Hallowtide Season. Like Christmas season where Yuletide is popular, All Saints Day or Hallowmas has All Hallowtide Season. During All Saints Day, gravesite rituals are performed where candles, flowers, and blessings are offered to the departed saints. In some parts of Europe, grandparents give their children freshly baked All Saints bread. Here's a fascinating fact about All Saints Day. During All Saints Day festivities, children and the poor would carve out a turnip for themselves, 
place a candle in it, and go from house to house singing songs and saying prayers for the souls of deceased saints and for the souls of deceased relatives who they believed might be in purgatory. The candles inside the carved out turnips represented a soul trapped in purgatory. These groups going from house to house singing and praying were called solars. The homeowners would give these solars soul cakes as a reward for their efforts. Historians believe that souling is the origins of what we know today as trick-or-treating. So five centuries before the pagan festival of Shawin existed, All Saints Day was celebrated by Christians throughout the world. Whether it be a carved out pumpkin with a candle in it, or children going house to house expecting a treat upon arrival, the Halloween practices of today can be traced all the way back to All Saints Day celebrations. Somewhere along the historical timeline, the traditions of All Saints Day were hijacked and turned into a celebration void of its Christian roots. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and consider subscribing to experience more CO2C content.